Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. Nehemiah 4 10 15. Meanwhile, the people in Judah said, The strength of the laborers is giving out, and there is so much rubble that we cannot rebuild the wall. Also our enemies said, Before they know it or see us, we will be right there among them and will kill them and put an end to the work. Then the Jews who lived near them came and told us ten times over, Wherever you turn, they will attack us. Therefore I stationed some of the people behind the lowest points of the wall at the exposed places, posting them by families, with their swords, spears and bows. After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials and the rest of the people, don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your families, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. When our enemies heard that we were aware of their plot and that God had frustrated it, we all returned to the wall, each to our own work. Today's title is hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Whether we see it or not, we are in a constant spiritual fight. The fight is not so visible when things are going as usual. But when we strive to do something in obedience and honor of God, the fight tends to suddenly intensify. We will not only see a lot of fiery darts coming from the enemy's camp but also frequent backstabbings from inside. We can even become hard pressed on every side as Apostle Paul once said. This is what happened to Nehemiah. He was enjoying a good life in the palace of Persia as a royal cupbearer. He was carefree. The devil didn't bother to trouble him. But as he committed himself to rebuild the broken wall of Jerusalem and acted upon his vision, spiritual fires become flared up in every direction. The enemies were threatening him saying, before they know it or see us, we will be right there among them and will kill them and put an end to the work. His own workers were complaining in dejection saying, the strength of the laborers is giving out, and there is so much rubble that we cannot rebuild the wall. Terrible, isn't it? But this is something that any spiritual leader must go through in any work for God. The enemies will not relent. They will try to bring the confusion and disarray into our own camps. What can you do? Nehemiah shows us what to do. You do what is needed. Be practical and be effective. Be compassionate to those who are discouraged. At the same time, stir their spirit with faith and conviction. Look what Nehemiah did. I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your families, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. There were no cannons fired, no javelins thrown. But when their enemies heard, they knew that God had frustrated it. How is your spiritual life going on? What kind of spiritual attacks are you going through? You may be threatened, mocked, or even be hard pressed on every side. But you know what? If you are with God, you might be hard pressed, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. In short, the final victory is yours no matter what. Do not be afraid.